Hey everyone, so today I wanted to talk about something else besides Peace Corps. Uh, when I first started this channel I said that I wanted to talk about all sorts of topics related to international development and I know it's been a while but uh, better late than never, right? So today I wanted to bring up just the topic of Syrian refugees and that also will include, you know, any sort of refugee from Iraq, Iran, um, Afghanistan, you know, political, um, people p fleeing conflict, uh, not just in the Middle East, but also Africa, CAR, uh, Central African Republic, and Nigeria, Niger. And one of the things that people always bring up when they talk about settling refugees is costs. A lot of commentators have brought up how expensive it is to settle a refugee in America and in Europe, um, sometimes costing upwards of $60,000. And that cost include just the um, food, shelter, public education, um, the cost of housing, and just how, in general, things are much more expensive in Western countries. Uh, these same commentators will point out how inexpensive it is to host a family or a refugee uh, closer to their countries of origin. Uh, I think, for example, with Syria, they found that quite a few refugee camps in that area um, can cost anywhere from just $1,000 to $5,000 a year, um, which is significantly cheaper than 60000 But the problem with this, and the reason why I wanted to kind of inspire discussion, is that these are simplified discussions or simplified comments from these people they see these refugee camps that are close to syria for example they say look we can um, feed and clothe and shelter someone for less than five thousand dollars a year with all this extra money that we could save we could feed clothe and shelter so many more people so why settle them in the west and the thing is, what else are these refugee camps doing and are they actually um, helping people beyond those basic necessities? And what sort of data are these commentators looking at to make sure that they are actually fed, that they're actually getting good shelter, um, that they're actually being cared for? You can find um, plenty of evidence that might point to the contrary, actually. You might find that some people are not actually being well fed. Um, they're being sheltered multiple families in a single um, area at once. It's not exactly the cleanest, most hygienic place. And are their kids being educated? Are people getting the job training that they need so that they can retain their skills, advance their own skills, you know, contribute to uh, a global economy, or at least have the idea that one day when Syria is better, when Afghanistan is better, when um, Nigeria is better, in the, at least in the North region, you know, these people can go back home and return to their lives and immediately start up their businesses. Is that happening in these camps? And you might need to do a little bit more investigation, but I don't think so. Instead, you might find that education is low, boys and girls aren't able to get the education they need, and um, girls are being forced into precocious marriages. Uh, which is any marriage that you know is happening while a girl is still a young teenager or even younger. Is sexual assault increasing in these camps? Is there any sort of justice? Um, what sort of oversight is there? Are these camps kind of left to their own uh, devices? You know, are people just delivering food, dropping it off, and hoping for the best? Um, that's what I have the impression of. And Whenever I think about these refugee camps that hold tens of thousands of people in very concentrated areas, sometimes away from major cities so that they couldn't even find work if they were allowed to, you know, some of these, a lot of these refugees aren't allowed to even leave the refugee camps. They're kind of in prisons. And um, what kind of good is that for their mentality? But I, I think about these refugee camps, how consolidated they are, and what sort of problems could come from having so many people together. You know, a disease outbreak could uh, cause serious damage, but also there are ideologies that could take root that could even cause further damage down the road. 
they say ISIS was actually formed in two American prisons in the Middle East, um, Abu Ghraib and uh, Camp Bukha, uh, just because they had tens of thousands of people together, uh, very little oversight, there was very little ideas, innovative ideas about how to make sure that these people could would return to society, you know, wanting to do good things, wanting to do positive things. Instead, some of the more violent ideologies took root, influenced others, was able to expand quickly because everyone was together. And then so when these prisons dissolved and uh, these, these former prisoners separated to go home, they just ended up spreading their ideology all over the place. And now look, we, we have um, Syria has collapsed, uh, northern Iraq is in constant conflict, and you can trace these back to uh, these sort of imprisonment, these two prisons that are eerily, have traits eerily similar to some of these refugee camps, you know, just groups of people together and you don't really know what's going on. Meanwhile, when you settle people in western countries, you are settling people that have been vetted very well, um, you're settling people that want to do well for themselves and when you are fostering these programs that means you're putting them in touch with people that want to help them too so that within a few years after they've received you know good education um, good foundations they're people that are contributing to society and their learning skills are advancing their their own expertise and so that perhaps one day when they're able to return home they can build businesses, build up their country again to be something that is amazing to behold, you know. So again, this video is just to kind of maybe spark a little discussion and maybe if you guys want to send me anything, any links that might uh, support what I say or contradict what I say, um, that'd be really great. I appreciate that too. And yeah, I think... I think we could all do a lot better with these refugees just around the world, just making sure that they're able to to get what they need to do well in the world and to guarantee their own futures. All right, guys. Good night.